Hello, how are you today? My name is Johnny Moore, the CEO of The Answer Incorporated in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I'm here today to share with you once again uh, uh, an excerpt and uh, a video on addiction. Today I want to talk about what is addiction part two. Is it a disease or is it a bondage? My feelings is that it's a bondage and it has to be dealt with spiritually. I'm not saying that addiction does not have some spiritual complications because it does and these complications are real. The withdrawal symptoms, the uh, tremors, the alcoholics go through, all these things are real but they're physical. I'm not dealing with the physical. I believe that you need to go into detox and to all of these places that help you address the physical needs of addiction. But there is still a spiritual part of it that has to be dealt with, that has to be addressed if you're going to become free from addiction. Let me say this to you. There are two things that your thoughts affect. It is your body and it is your environment. Your thoughts about yourself is spiritual in nature and as a man thinks in his heart so is he you know what that means that means that whatever you are thinking that that is what you are living your thoughts are a mirror image of your life let me say that again your thoughts are a mirror image of your life whatever you're thinking you're living and so to get to your mind and to dominate your thinking and to control the way you're thinking and to get you to believe that you're worthless, that you're flawed, will generate a certain amount of, of thinking that will create a certain lifestyle that many in addiction are living today. That is why the way you think and how you think matters so much to how you are living so renewing your mind is extremely important because thinking the same way will only get you the same results. Thinking the same way will only get you the same results. If you want different results in your life, then you have to have different thoughts in your life. Think about that. Uh, 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 that is something that is important as we uh, go down and begin to talk more about addiction in the future you're going to have to go through a process of renewing your mind you're going to have to realize that the way you're thinking and the thoughts that are being generated in your life is also the way you're living and your thoughts and your life are one and the same so if the disease model of addiction works so well, then why is there so much addiction still in the world? That is a question that we need to ask ourselves. If this is a disease model that everybody is advocating, is that the model of addiction that is working to get people free and delivered from addiction, then why is the addiction rate still climbing? Why are people still uh, uh, having uh, problems with addiction? Those are the questions that you need to ask yourself when you're dealing with addiction so that you can begin to renew your mind as to what you're dealing with. So then, what is addiction? Is it a disease or is it a bondage? If it is a bondage, as I advocate, then how do you deal with a bondage? First of all, let me tell you what I believe is the wrong way to deal with, an, with a bondage or with addiction. Uh, thinking that you can handle it. You don't never want, you never want to think that you can handle your addiction. That at some point you will gain control of it and that you will be free by your own will and your own might. The problem with addiction is that once it becomes spiritual, you need help. You need spiritual help to overcome addiction. And so the trick that is behind addiction that keep many in bondage 
is they keep trying to overcome it. They don't know why they keep using. They don't know why they keep going back. They, they have these moments where they feel like I've overcome it and I can go on only to relapse again and go back into addiction. It's because you're trying to do this yourself and you need help. And you have to learn that there are some things that every human being needs to learn about life and that is that we all need help at some point in our lives. That is where God comes into play. Because God is a spirit. Man can help in many ways but true deliverance from addiction comes from God. Let me repeat that. God is a spirit and true Deliverance from a spirit or spiritual bankruptcy can only come from God. And how is that done? That is done by, the, by determining who you are going to worship. Are you going to worship your drugs? Are you going to live for your drugs or your alcohol or whatever your addiction may be? Or are you going to begin to embrace the God of all life who manifested life, who created life, and know how we should live life? Worship Him. And when you begin to worship the true one and only God, then you can become free from addiction. So worship plays a big role in addiction because a lot of the things that we're doing today that are being manifested in our lives and the things that, uh, 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 that you don't want to do but you find yourself continually doing in your life are happening because you're worshiping something that is not a true God. You're worshiping drugs, you're worshiping alcohol, you're worshiping food, whatever that is that you're worshiping. You need to worship God to have that spiritual experience that will change your life. Remember Every issue cannot be treated the same way. I want you to remember that. If something's physical, it's got to be dealt with physically. If something's mental, it's got to be dealt with mentally. But this is spiritual. And this has got to be dealt with spiritually. It is about the things that you worship. And as long as you're worshiping the wrong things, you're going to get the wrong results. Now, this is why so many people are stumbling because their pride seems to get in the way of true health. Your pride will help, will hinder you and cause your demise if you do not begin to realize that you can't make it without God. That you have a life that is connected to God in some kind of way. That he has a purpose for your life. That he has meaning for your life. That there's hope in him. That he that he provides resources and that he is the source of your being and the source of your the breath and the air that you breathe. He's God and that no matter what you do, you cannot negate the fact that he is always going to be God in your life. And so I'm here today to share with you just a little bit more about addiction. We're going to bow our heads today and I'm going to pray with you that you be delivered from this mighty, mighty uh, affliction called addiction and that you overcome it through the right means which is spiritual in nature. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone at the sound of my voice, I pray for them. I pray that they will overcome addiction through you. That they will understand that the only way to overcome this deadly bondage is because it's spiritual, is to understand that they must come to you, God, who is spiritual in every way. And so, Father, I surrender and give them to you, that now you may begin to move in their life mightily, to bring them out of this disease and this bondage called addiction. Set them free, God. Set them free like they've never been free before. Let them know that there is no one so good, so special as you are, God, in their lives. And we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Amen.